I'm sorry I can't be with you today, um, but I do have a book to read to you. And then we're gonna talk about the new apps that are on your tablets uh, this afternoon. So um, I wanted to start with a read aloud and I'm gonna read to you another one of the family favorite books uh, in our house, Knuffle Bunny. And Knuffle Bunny is another Caldecott winner. That means it won an award for having great pictures. And I bet a lot of you know this book, but it's a great one to read again, okay? And so in this video, I'm gonna share this book with you, and then we're gonna talk about the new apps that are on your tablet, okay? And give you a chance to explore them. So this is Knuffle Bunny. It is by Mo Willems, who you might know from Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, okay? It's a great story. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. One of the things I love about this book is that it uses pictures and drawings. So it's like actual photos and drawings are the illustrations. I think that's pretty amazing. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Do you know what a laundromat is? I bet you do. <laughs> Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine so see the machine, it's photos, and then everything else is drawn. Isn't that amazing? She even got to put the money into the machine. And then they left. Notice who's in the laundry machine. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Get the look on her face. Trixie turned to her dad and said, Aggle, flaggle, clabble! That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. See, I told you this is a well-loved book at our house. Look at this page. Uh-oh. said Trixie again. Blaggo plabble, won't be flappy. Snurp. Trixie is pretty upset. Now, please don't get fussy, her daddy said. Well, she had no choice. Trixie ball. She went Boneless. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. She did everything that she could to show how unhappy she was. She is very unhappy. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Good gracious, Trixie is very unhappy. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Knuffle Bunny? Look at Trixie's face. She's like, that's what I was trying to tell you, Dad. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie 
Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked, but Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Look at poor Trixie's face. Very sad. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Look, he's got his face in the washing machine. Knuffle Bunny! Yay! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. So boys and girls, in this video, I'm also going to show you um, how to get into the new apps that are on your tablet, okay? So you will have a guest teacher today, just as a reminder, um, but I'm here in my video. You can always come back to it um, so that you can get directions, okay? So I'm going to be showing you how to um, get into the new games that are on your tablet, okay? I hope you have a fantastic day and I'm sorry that I'm missing you today, okay? Hey friends, okay, so I sh said that I would share with you um, about the new games that are on your tablet. Um, I first wanna start by sharing with you how to put them in a folder. Um, that way they're all in the same spot. Um, I know that you can't see me, but I know that you can hear my voice. So when you use one of your fingers to press on one of the apps and you hold it, okay, you're gonna see them jiggle, okay? And when they're jiggly, you can drag them with your finger together, okay? And we can drag all of these apps into the same spot Okay, so that they're in the same place. Okay, so I'm organizing my iPad and showing you how to organize yours. To make your um, apps stop being jiggly, all you have to do is click the home button at the bottom of your tablet, and then they stop being jiggly. Okay, and so today we're gonna work on exploring some of the new apps that are on your tablet, okay? And um, your guest teacher has directions and is in your Zoom meeting so that if you have questions, you can ask, okay? So let's just start with, we're gonna start with um, Puzzle Pop, okay? It's the one that has the owl. This duck, is that moose. This is not what you have to do today, okay? It's up to you, okay? You can choose any of these. So, what I notice, that's for my What I notice right here, there's an arrow, and if I click the arrow, that's how I get to the game. Slide the pieces. Puzzle. So we're putting the puzzle together. So you can. Do you see how there's the tower that we put together? Okay, so then we can go on to level two. So let's take a look at this. that are new on your tablet today um, after our read aloud. So um, let's look at Word Wagon really quickly. Duck, duck, oh. moose. Okay, again, we click on the what's flashing, okay? 
Okay, that's what tells us where to go next. Once upon a time, there was a big tower, and way down at the very bottom of that tower lived a little mouse named Mozzarella. You can call me Moz. Moz lives under the Eiffel Tower, which is in a country called France. I love the name Mozzarella. This is my best friend, Coco. Tweet! She's going to teach me the letters and how to spell words. Pick an object from the conveyor belt. Okay, so Moz is running on the conveyor belt. We need to pick an object. I'm going to pick the number five. Drag the letters to the right place to spell a word. Okay, F. so all I have to do is use my finger. I. V. E. I. V. Five. Way to go. Boys and girls, you can explore any of these apps today, um, and hopefully they've all been installed on your tablets. I've been told that they have been, but if they haven't, there should be at least two um, on your tablets that you can explore, okay? And I will see you next time, okay? But if you have questions, our guest teacher is in our Zoom meeting, okay? So have a great rest of your day, boys and girls.